Hello everyone, I am Dweet and this is my first YouTube video and I am a Google Level 1 educator. I have just passed my Google Level 1 examination on September 2020 and over here I will guide you about some of the greatest Google application which are available for free. It will be useful for the students as well as the teachers. Now, Google has many applications in, in it which is available for free but obviously you can avail an extra additional features using your G Suite account. Now, G Suite account is also free, but it should be applied by the schools. One, once the school has applied for the G Suite uh, account, then every teacher and as well as the students will get a new G Suite ID in which the same applications, which are right now I'm going to show, will be working with some additional features. But for those who are not still interested in G Suite account, they can also go with their personal Gmail ID. So today we are going to learn some about some applications which are very much useful in day to day life. Now, what you have to do in this case, you have to enter with your Gmail account as you are doing normally. So as you are going to enter with your Gmail ID and password, you will be able to see this kind of email applications with you. Now over here, there is a three dots uh, three by three dots okay you can see and that are the google applications so once you click this is known as the waffle and when you click it you will get a different different type of applications either you can directly go to this application or you can click over here to go to that applications so there are different applications which are available for free such as drive is one of the greatest application of google in which we can store our data for 15 gb so suppose if I want to store a very important document that I don't want to miss. So I will just uh, upload it over here so that that file will be remaining forever on the drive. So you don't have to worry about that my laptop crashes or this happens or I'm not able to bring my laptop. You can obviously anytime, anywhere in the world, you can just log in with your account and get that file from the drive. So we will learn this drive a little bit later. But today we are going to learn one of the greatest application that is Google Docs. So you have to go to that Google Docs and click over there. Once you click over that, there are different templates available such as if you want to create a resume, if you want to do a letter, if you want to do a project proposal or anything else. Or otherwise you can always start with a blank list also. So once you start with the document, a blank document, okay, you can see over here there is a name you have to give for the document right now it is an untitled document so therefore you can give any of the name to this document so once you are giving the name of this document you can use this document same as our microsoft docs now uh, all the features which are we were using in microsoft document the same features are available in google docs also but as you know, there are many additional features that we can use it and it will be very much useful for all the teachers. Such as once you go to insert, there are certain images that you can insert, tables, drawings, charts, footnote, special character, equations, header and footer, page number, break, and even you can enter the link in over here. But this all options are even available in Microsoft Docs. So why it is so special about it? Okay, so suppose if I show you, that I want to upload an image. So you can upload it either from the computer if you have an image that we are already doing or if you don't want to waste your time, you can just click on this search on web. So on the side panel, you will be getting a Google image in which you can just search the image, whatever you want to add. So suppose if I want to enter an image of Taj Mahal, I will just click on Taj Mahal and I will just place a thing over here and I will insert it. So you have to not go outside of your Google documentation to add the image. The image will be automatically added over here. So the previous traditional method was okay, we were going outside, we were searching out for image, we were downloading that image and then obviously we were pasting it over the Google, uh, the Microsoft documents. But in the Google documents, it is very much good. You can just either resize or you can just insert the image as you want. You can even make the size bigger or smaller or you can even crop the size, okay, crop the filter, whatever you want. So this is a very great and nice application which you can use it and it will be very much simple for you to use it. You can also align this and you can do it properly. 
The other greatest features that you can see over here in insert is you can enter a table, you can draw, you can draw any figure, whatever you want. For example, maths teacher. Okay. You can place a chart also from the sheet. Either it will be bar chart, column graph, bar graph, anything you can do. Even you can enter the special characters. Over here, you can see there are some tools which are very much useful. For example, you want to do spelling or grammar check, which you can do it. You can count the number of words in your Google documentation. You can review the suggested edits, which I'm going to clear. You can cite it using citation and even you can explore many of the things. The main uh, thing which is very much useful is you can translate the document or you can even do the voice typing. So if I click on voice typing and suppose I just speak properly the voice typing you can see that the paper is going to be typed as it is you don't have to wait for many of the things that you have to do by traditional typing so you can see over here as soon as i speak the paper is going to be typed you should have a good microphone for this so that you don't have any problem while speaking the things and you should have a quiet environment so this is a very good uh, thing that is very much useful once you know that your typing is over you can just stop over here So this is the thing which we have already typed. Now let us see okay, what is the use of translate the document. So suppose if I have just typed a document, hi, how are you? Now there are many teachers who knows that okay, their parents does not know English. They only know their native languages. So in that case, what you can do, you can go to the tools and over here, there is an option of translate the document. Now your document right now is in English. And if you want to choose a language, you can choose a language, for example, any of the local language, whichever you are using. So in my case, the local language is Gujarati and I will just click on translate. So after you click on translate, it will take hardly one or two seconds to translate this whole document. So as you can see, now the document is translated from English. It is translated to Gujarati. Now this document could be sent to your uh, parents for some kind of information that they want to know if they are not knowing English and if you are not knowing how to type Gujarati then it is very much simple you can just type on English and then you can translate with any of the uh, language you want another benefit of using Google Docs is you can always share your document with the other people also so for example if I want to share this document to my friend or my other colleague I can just click on share and then I can enter his or her email ID so that they can also see the things. So over here, I will enter the email ID of the person that I want to add and then I will keep it as an editor so that that person can edit the document whenever he or she wants that. So if I just send a link like this, the person has been added. Now, even that person can edit the document whenever he or she wants. So like that, you have to not waste your time by just clicking on the documents using a pen drive and then uh, giving it to the other person and then he or she edits your document. Or you are sending the mail to that person, he or she is opening that mail, editing and sending you mail again. So that kind of tedious task is now over. Now, suppose if you have your students that they are writing their essays. Okay. So if they have written some essays over here, okay, and they have typed on the things. Now, you know that okay, certain things you want to tell them, okay, this is not a correct thing, okay. Or maybe you want to uh, correct the grammar or many of the things. Now, you will not just clearly click, uh, correct their things, so otherwise they will not come to know okay, what was their mistake. So. Google Docs has a very good application that you can tell them okay, what is their mistake. So for example, I want to tell that you should not write you are the best, you should write you are a good person. So I will select that thing and there is an option over here to add and comment. So if I just add and comment over here and write it down, please write down you are good. 
so i will just comment over here and then the students can see the comment that is add on you are the good and then they can correct it otherwise there is an option of suggested edit also which we will cover in the next topic so we'll continue with google docs on the next time and where this will be saved there is no need to do anything else this will be automatically saved to your drive so you can anytime move your file to your drive from one place to another place but you have to not save this because if your internet connection is on it will be automatically saved and any of the time if you want to download this you can just click over here and you can download to your even computer but i suggest okay you will keep this file in your drive only so thank you so much for this small tutorial next time we will continue with google docs and we will learn about some greatest applications so thank you so much and have a nice day